Okay, so this is hopefully section eight, the last one. And then I've got them all down filmed with a fair bit of detail. But hopefully, if I if it all changes again, I'll have something to refer to if I want to keep to this one. Alright, so you may have noticed I rub my hands a lot, don't know why, just a habit. It's not even cold. In fact, it's absolutely cooking today. So short section again, just the last few movements of a whole set, and some you already know. Single leg. Actually, a bit more space in front, so I'm just a little step backwards. So first off, snake creeps down or dragonfly lands. So reach under, and then make fist, get a sense of pulling apart. As you pull apart, sit back, turn your knee and out if you want to extend the stance a little bit. Sink down. So elbows roughly in line with your legs. And then from there, push with this foot. And as you're going up, push with this foot. So up. Little lunge, and then keep your movement going. It's hard to stop and start, but ideally keep your movement going. Turn your foot, step in, left hand on the inside. So again, coming from here, reach under, turn your foot slightly, and then it's set up ready for when you come down. And then push up and away. <laughs> and if you remember, so I have a left hand on the inside, which is dick hand, different to how we normally traditionally do it. Then there you go. And then from there, seven stars. So hands come under, little turn to the right, and then throw. <coughs> That's a very forceful winding up, and then relax and throw. And again, comes from the waist. So under, and <coughs> throw. Now step back to right for tiger. gap, so we're going this way. So a big step back, and turn. So weight most on this side, you're facing pretty much the same way as this foot, turning and opening. Like just brushing something away. And from there, we're going this direction. So back foot pushes and then come in. Arms come in and close. So this is kind of similar to a lazy tying coat. Lazy tying coat, you've got left arm high, right arm sweeping under. This one, the left arm sweeping under. The right arm's coming on top. And then another force of movement separating. As you separate, also the heel goes down. So turn, that turns your body. From body turning accentuates the arms separating. And your attention is ideally over to the left slightly. So you step in. And then as your foot starts to turn, the waist turns, your hands turn, everything separates. <coughs> this ends up pushing away, pulling apart, pushing out with your heel at the same time. Then from there, a big turn. Now again, a long time ago this used to be 180 degrees, now it's a, a full turn almost. Well actually no, it's slightly less than normal. Okay. Turn to the left, so your foot's facing this way, you're going to turn 180 degrees this way. It used to be shorter, it used to be just straight back. So around. So you're going to turn on the heel as you go. Left foot's in front, and then sweeping the lotus. So weight goes forwards, arms back. And just like before, hopefully avoiding the fox gloves. Knee comes in, and then sweep it back. In place. And try and avoid temptation to just crash backwards, try and make it control, so sweep your knee back, forget about the rest of your foot. So, it comes in and then sweep it back, place it down, roll back, the weight comes back in your arm as far, into cannon fist, so hands coming up, just a light fist if you're drawing something in, push from here, turn your body, let your arms follow, so partly a throw, partly a strike. <coughs> Left elbow, above your left. Weight forwards. Then closing the full wing, last bit now. So turn, roll back high, lowering down. So the elbow roughly aligned with the leg. And then left foot turns, expand, again, get a sense of brushing something away, opening. Foot turns if you wanted to, and then step in. And down into your palm, just like normal, pounding water to finish. So up, and and traditionally finishing off nice and relaxed. One, two, three. That's 
So I'm going to go through it one more time, this time without stopping and starting. Single whip. So learning. Okay, so that's the lot. That's the whole of the loud yard ELU got frame first for all the eight sections, one way or another. Sometimes as sunny as this, sometimes not quite so much. <laughs> 